Jewish people in the ancient Persian Empire where a plot had been formed to destroy them. The story is recorded in the biblical book of Esther. According to the book of Esther, Haman, royal vizier to King Ahasuerus planned to kill all the Jews in the empire, but his plans were foiled by Mordecai and his cousin and adopted daughter Esther who had risen to become queen of Persia. The day of deliverance became a day of feasting and rejoicing. Based on the conclusions of the scroll of Esther colon, that they should make them days of feasting and gladness, and of sending portions one to another, and gifts to the poor. Purim is therefore celebrated among Jews by exchanging reciprocal gifts of food and drink known as Mishloch Manit. Donating charity to the poor known as Matanot La Evionim. Eating a celebratory meal known as a Seudat Purim. Public recitation of the Scroll of Esther, known as Kri at Harmegula, usually in synagogue. Reciting additions, known as Al Hanim to the daily prayers and the grace after meals. Other customs include drinking wine or any alcoholic beverage, wearing of masks and costumes, and public celebration. Purim is celebrated annually according to the Hebrew calendar on the 14th day of the Hebrew month of Adar, the day following the victory of the Jews over their enemies. In cities that were protected by a surrounding wall at the time of the biblical Joshua, Purim is instead celebrated on the 15th of the month of Adar on what is known as Shushan Purim, since fighting in the walled city of Shushan continued through the 14th day of Adar. Today, only Jerusalem and a few other cities celebrate Purim on the 15th of Adar. Scriptural and Rabbinical Sources The primary source relating to the origin of Purim is the Book of Esther, which became the last of the 24 books of the Tanakh to be canonized by the sages of the Great Assembly. It is dated to the 4th century BCE and according to the Talmud was a redaction by the Great Assembly of an original text by Mordecai. The Tractate Megillah in the Mishnah records the laws relating to Purim. The accompanying Tosefta and Gemara record additional contextual details such as Queen Vashti having been the daughter of Belshazzar as well as details that accord with Josephus such as Esther having been of royal descent. Brief mention of Esther is made in Tractate Chulin and idolatry relating to worship of Haman is discussed in Tractate Sanhedrin. The work Esther Abba is a Midrashic text divided in two parts. The first part dated to see. 